Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. Um, today we're going to go over injector data for LS swap injectors and which ones flow what and which one. I'm not going to tell you which ones you need. I don't know which ones you need. I do know human nature that I guarantee people are going to run down to the bottom of the page here and go buy the most expensive ones. But I'm just here to help you with the information you need to make an informed decision. And, uh, you know, hopefully this helps you guys out. As always, this document will be in the file section of my Facebook group, The Driveway Engineer, and you can join up and find it there for download. Um, so to start with, I will cover decapping because some people don't know what it is still. So let's just cover it real quick. On a stock injector, you have this little deal right here and it's kind of like a restrictor plate and if you grind that off at like a 45 degree angle it pops off that's not the picture i'm looking for it'll pop off like this and see that giant hole right there where the little thing popped off you wind up with one big hole and it will flow a lot more um, two to three times as much more. What it will also do is flow at a right angle to the injector or perhaps not seal all the way when the engine shuts down. Um, and they're generally not very consistent. So just know that it's going to take you probably two sets of injectors to find one set of eight that flow enough. And this goes for everybody. This isn't just an LS uh, thing. Like you can put these injectors in your Honda or your DSM or whatever you got. Um, it's, this is really common in the Subaru world. So, and secondly, the part number for the injectors, uh, all the Delphi injectors at least, is located on the body here. You have to be kind of sharp, but you'll be able to see it. So when I'm reading these numbers off, that's where they're coming from. Um, I have a found in thing here, but that's not definitive. You know, they use these part numbers across multiple vehicle lines. <clears throat> <coughs> they use these part numbers in multiple different applications. And I know I'm gonna have somebody in the comment like, my mom's minivan has those injectors and it's i don't care use the part number google it you can find it but here's a good place to start um if you start looking on the internet you'll see that there is a dizzying dizzying amount of information out there on which injectors flow what and what they come in so these are common and these are the ones that i have decap flow inject data from and the decap flow comes thanks to, uh, I believe his name is Jim Carpenter on the decap injector Facebook group. He ran all these tests. That's where the decap flow and data came from. So um, the stock flow, either I opened HP Tuner uh, tunes to see what they're at, or I use the internet. There's a site called Robbie the Robot. I'll link to it below that has a bunch of different flow rates. I mean, like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, more than I have listed here. I stuck to the stuff that he had listed for decaps. I don't know what, if it's not on the list, I don't know what it flows decapped. So, um, the 12586554 is a V6 injector. It's like in Impalas and minivans and stuff like that. They flow 22 pounds an hour. And decap, they flow 70 to 75 pounds an hour. Um, and that range alone is enough reason to decap more than one set until you get to where you need to be. So these are going to be really common in the junkyard. They're going to be easy for you to find. Um, if you want to de decap some and you only need a little bit of flow. 12580681. Is 24.5 pounds an hour. It flows decap 70 to 75 pounds an hour, and that is a stock truck Vortec V8 4.8, 5.3, 6.0 injector. 
125-80426 flows 33 pounds an hour and decapped it flows 80 to 82. This is a stock 5.3 flex fuel, but it's an early 5.3 flex fuel from like O2 Tahoe's and stuff. Um, so these are pretty good upgrade if you have like a fairly wild NA build and you don't want to decap them, you don't want to get two sets. If you just have a stock set and throw them in, there's a cheap way to get 33 pound injectors. So you have that little bit extra fuel um, that you need. This is probably what I'll run in Daryl because I got higher compression and a bigger cam. So I have some overhead. Um, but decap, they flow 80 to 82 pounds an hour. So if you have two sets and you have them flowed, uh, my buddy Jason Poteet, he's on the Facebook, the Driveway Engineer Facebook group. He will flow them for you. Um, other people will flow them for you. So there's options out there, but you're going to have a little bit of money into flowing them. So just be aware of that. Next up is number 2533, oh, I'm sorry, 2532-3974. And that's a 24.8 pound an, an hour injector. And decapped, it flows 75 to 80 pounds an hour. And that is a 99 to 2000 truck, the early Vortec, early LS style Vortec um, injectors. It's only 99 to 2000 or 01 or something like that. Uh, 2533 pound an hour, 88 pounds an hour decap. This is an L59 flex fuel injector. Two five three two zero two eight eight twenty four point eight pounds an hour seventy seventy five pounds an hour decapped and this is another ninety nine to two thousand truck injector so you know they use one on Friday they use a different one on Monday it doesn't matter they flow the same these are all flowed at fifty eight psi by the way that is LS fuel stop fuel pressure. So if you have like a Ford or something else that's running at the older, like 43 and a half PSI, um, you'll have to convert this. It'll drop down a little bit. 25317628, pounds an hour. That's 70, 75 pounds an hour decapped. That's the 01 to 07 truck injectors. Um, they're just newer. There's no significant difference. Like, if you have these, I wouldn't run out and get these. I probably wouldn't even run out and get these, but for the price. If you can find them in the junkyard, then you, they're a good deal. But if you're paying, like, eBay prices, it's too much. 253-26902, 33-pound an hour, 80 to 87-pound an hour, another flex fuel 5.3 injector. I think the flex fuel injectors have, like, dark orange o-rings on them but i could be wrong so don't quote me on that definitely if you're in the junkyard any flex fuel vehicle will have a yellow gas cap so snatch those injectors at least to look for the number 2801580049 now this is a bosch injector instead of a delphi like they've gone to bosch injectors on newer stuff um it flows 28 pounds an hour, is 80 pounds an hour decapped, and that's an LS2 injector. I believe these have a different connector on them too, so be aware of that. You might have to splice your connector. All these 280 numbers are Bosch numbers. 280-155-917, that's 21.4 pounds an hour, and it came out silly because it's a Ford injector, and Ford rates their injectors at 43.5 PSI instead of 58, so I had to convert it, bump it up. Um, decap, they flow 60 to 60 pounds, 60 to 66 pounds an hour. And these are found in the Ford modular engines, the 4.6, 5.4, and the, I think the V10's an 8 liter, whatever. 280-158051, that's 38.9 pounds an hour. It's a 90 pound an hour decap. It's pretty impressive. It's an LS2 injector. Probably an LS3 injector too. I think they carry over, but it's listed as an LS2. 280-158-279. That's 51.72 pounds an hour and 100 pounds an hour decapped. Another LS2 injector. This is probably a flex fuel one. I think all these 51s 
um, our flex fuel ones. 280-158-660, that's 41.6 pounds an hour, and it flows 66 pounds an hour decapped. The only thing that I got the number to come back to is the Ford GT, which basically means you're never, ever going to see it. But it's a standard Ford 36 pound an hour injector, so it's probably the same one that's in the old Lightnings and uh, Cobras too, I would guess. So again, you're not ever going to see it in the junkyard, but you never know when you come across it. 280-158-187. That's another 51.72 pound an hour one. It flows 102 pounds an hour decapped, and that is the LS9 injector. 126-09749. 51.72 pounds an hour. 105 pounds an hour decapped, and that's the 62 flex fuel. I know the Yukons and the Escalades got them. I don't know if the more mundane... Tahoes and stuff got them, but uh, it's from a flex fuel SUV. So that's it. That's the common GM flow injector flows. And I hope this helps you out to decide what you need to run. Um, there's fuel pressure calculators and things like that online. I'm not going to get into that in this video. This video is just to present the data to you. Um, so thanks for watching, and we will see you next time on The Driveway Engineer.